Hey there, Bourbon Street Joe here. We're back. And today, we have something everybody has seen and yet I have shipped to people and not even bothered to try myself yet. So it's about high time we did that. We're not chewing on that. Instead, we're chewing on this. So it's one of the newer style Canadian IMPs. Anyway, team, Shepherd's Pie. Usual deets. QR code, military ration, not for resale. Like us on Facebook. And uh, with the newer style, so this is a 2020, not a 2021, because I'm not lucky like Spitty and I haven't got my hands on a 21 yet. Shepherd's Pie, all our ingredients, nutritional information in uh, English and uh, French, obviously, for both our date square and our shepherd's pie. Um, so the newer ones, they tell you what the main and the um, the dessert is on the back of it. Uh, tear that. Grit to ghoul. Again, has the uh, dog bone tear on it. And this comes in at 729 grams, 728 grams, or... Uh, 1.96 ounces, so almost one pound ten. Yeah, um, never, never got a hold of this to actually review. Um, I've got uh, probably close to ten or twelve of them sitting around, but uh, I've shipped them off. Um, one went to Smoky, one went to Delicious. And I, don't, I can't remember who else I sent, may or may not have sent them to. Anyway, without further adieu, easy peasy, off she comes. Though I, even though this is a Ziploc, it's much obviously sturdier, but I do miss the old box box and stuff in the middle, but that's what she looks like. Almost a vague berry smell coming out of that. Which is, that's kind of weird. Alrighty. Heating instruction. It's not applicable for fruit. So that is our date square. 263rd day of 2019. By BCI Foods Incorporated. In St. Hyacinth, Quebec. Probably pronounced differently in French. Saint, Saint Hyacinth. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, date square. Uh, matrimonial cake for those baking inclined. Uh, so just sort of a crumb, uh, oat topping, dates in the middle, crumb topping on top. Um, I have never had one out of an IMP. I know they look kind of gross, but yeah. Vanilla drink mix, 52 grams. 87th day of 2020. Uh, I don't know if I've had the more recent ones. Maltodextrin protein blend. It's our nutritional information. Serving size, one packet. 228 cals in that. 410 in the date square and only 180 in the shepherd's pie. And as other people have noted, uh, first ingredient, ground beef. Therefore, not a shepherd's pie, it's a cottage pie. Shepherd's pie is ground lamb. But hey, what do us Commonwealth types know, right? Speaking of which, here's our shepherd's pie. 334th day of 2019. A little liquidy in there, but anyway, we'll get these two in the water going away because I would rather have a warm date square than a cold date square actually. I have made entire sheet pans of date squares when I used to apprentice uh, for my baking. Uh, chunky Kit Kats, that has a, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a ridge on it. So this is obviously melted and reformed sometime during its life. 
We have an ice sports drink. There's our nutritional on that one. 80 calories per pouch. Two of those. We have some confiture de frais. So strawberry jam. That seems like it needs a bit of a need because it's all just kind of hard and solidified a little bit. Uh, 20 grams on that. 21 on that. We have some tortillas, which is really weird to have with something that's ground meat and then potatoes on top, but... Rah. Product of the USA, made by Sterling Foods. Is there deets on that? 220 calories per two tortillas. They tell you twice in case you're a little slow. Smitty, CT. I, I mean, Smitty, you'll have to tell CT because, you know, maybe twice. You have to tell him twice. Anyway. Yes, I'm giving him shit because, yes. Beverage bag, sports drink up to there. Do the deed. We have some ketchup. Ketchup. By Thermal Pack, LLC, Stone Mountain, Georgia, 15 grams. Yeah. Barbarians who put friggin' ketchup on shepherd's pie. Or cottage pie, for that matter. Nescafe Sweet and Creamy, original, 22 grams. Uh, best before, 2021, first of 12th of May something, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so it's M-A is May, M-R is March, just so you know. Ooh, peanut butter. Fortified creamy. 20 grams. Thermal pack, LLC. First ingredient, roasted peanuts. Second ingredient, sugar. Third ingredient, hydrogenated rapeseed. So we know this is an American product because we don't say rapeseed in Canada anymore and haven't for about 20 or 30 years. It is now canola oil. Because... Got our standard IMP Canadian Fapkin. Got a little sporkage going on there. Very nice. And that is some total right there. So our other accoutrements are the, uh, as everybody likes to call it, you can just see their maple mint. Uh, that is made by Sterling MSC. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Got some, yep. Eddie Match from Pembroke, Ontario. And by the way, that is Pembroke, not Pembroke. Just saying. You can pronounce it however the hell you want. White tip. And four calories worth of Tic Tacs because some famous blonde haired model that did these was like, it's one calorie per. So that's apparently four calories. Not a big fan of Tic Tacs, but eh, is what it is. Or what it are. And side garbage. That. Yeah, we're not using that. Those go with the torts. You can mix up my drink mix. Don't need the spork. Uh, we'll do one of the ice beverages. That's 250 mils. Do up our cough. And don't need those. Yeah, might do that for show and yeah, yeah, I'm sure those are as horrible as I remember them being as a child, but whatever. Um, I don't know what it is about Tic Tacs. Uh, like, other than this weird original death flavor, which is very similar to the original yellow death flavor of um, Listerine, um, these guys have screwed up every single flavor they've ever made. Orange is terrible. Um, the Coca-Cola one is gross. 
Um, Japanese do Coke candies really well. Um, eh, cola bottles are okay, I guess. Uh, they now have a tropical fruit one, which is like mango and pineapple and passion fruit and something else. And God, they're just gross. They just got a weird taste to them. Um, yeah, I don't think there's a flavor of Tic Tac I like. Uh, I will eat them, but yeah, not really a fan. Uh, this, that, and that. Okay, let's do our beverage. Gusseted bottom. Uh, spread open bottom of pouch. Add cold water to line. Zip tight and shape. Right. That sounds adventurous. I know most people try to fold them first so that you have some sort of reference later. Notch. Of course, that just creates fountains of powder, like it does in any beverage powder. I, I don't think I've run across one yet that hasn't done that. Oh, might be a little shaky shake in there. Just for giggles, I one day should actually record using that feature and the, the C4 mask. That, just to show you what that is like. Um, let's see how this goes. Put that down over here. Da. Okay, the line is about, okay. No, a little more. Um, yeah, we'll give it there. Maybe it's a splash more. And what do we always do, kids? Never trust a zip seal. If you want to pay for the laundry costs, you go ahead, but uh, not this guy. Trying to get everything out of the corner there. That's probably going to be nowhere near enough, but I am going to leave it at that and uh, just uh, shake it. Shake the blazes out of it a little later. Sweet creamy does tear, which is nice. And that's just going to be a standard sweet and creamy three in one. Excuse me, I'm not sure how many various flavors we sell at Walmart. Two hundred and forty-five milliliters of water, because good grief. So we'll spin it onto our mills. Grab our hot water, spill it down your pants, because that's just part of the added fun and experience. There, 245, the best I can eyeball that. There we go. Get out our IMP spoon. IMP spoon, our Canadian issue. Canadian Forces issue KFS spoon. Henceforth, that will be known as the IMP spoon, I guess. And as usual, that 
it just dissolves like a hot diggity. Uh, 250 on our ice sports drink. Yeah, probably not the brightest order to go in. Probably should have done cold first. I suppose I don't really need to warm the tortillas up, even though I am. Uh, they just don't break as badly if they're pliable and warm. Uh, however, if I'm just doing PB and J, eh, whatevs. Here's our slightly crystallized blue sports drink. That's what she looks like. It smells good though. Kind of like a bit of a berry scent to it. Definitely electric blue. As are most of them. Yes, she's above freezing here, but uh, yeah, stealth Andy Steeth, you'll be happy to know it is just been pissing rain for the past two days. Uh, finally, it up today, uh, and ugh, it looks like northern Scotland out there. It's just buggered. There's just you, you can't see. I'm in a valley, and you you can't see the hill behind me here. There's just so much fog right now. Just terrible. There goes the oxygen absorber, which we don't need. Just the one. And these are much more pliable. And awfully bloody hot. And they just have that, I mean, it's just a packaged bread smell, really. But, uh... Let them get this back up so they can sit somewhere without steaming up too badly. This little shack shack. And that's a nice translucent blue now. Mmm, that's tasty. Never had that before, I don't like. Vaguely berry. Definitely an electrolyte powder. As you can tell. No other... 20 grams of strawberry jam. Don't think these have. Oh, yes, they do. They're notches. Uh, you know what? We shall go in the opposite direction. Need that up. The other one barely works. Let's 
see if we can't get it all. If I can't follow CT's advice here, because it always apparently tastes better. Ah, just need that ounce and a half, apparently. Yeah, not the best for a decorator, but yeah, well, talents are a little rusty, I guess. Oh, this one's a little thicker and a little smaller, so that's probably going to blurt out everywhere. much for highlighting that. Yeah, that just makes a mess. Oh well. I may lose some eye appeal, but it all tastes the same anyway. Anyway, PB&J to me is always and always will be, always has been um, peanut butter and grape jelly, not strawberry, raspberry, whatever, but grape's not an easy thing to find in the Canadian IMPs. If it ever was. I'll try that with the um, Shepherd's Pie, which is going to be weird as hell, but... Yeah, I don't run with that. Of course, it's peanut butter, so it's very thirst provoking. Gives a bit of dryness to the mouth. And the tortilla is cooled right down, so. Chewy, almost like a chalky kind of a texture to it, but yeah, it's PB and J. Get up the old milk cup. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll go with the big one. Shepherd's pie, which is really hot and burning my fingers. So obviously you have one, two tear notches, depending on if you want to put it in a mess tin, if you're just eating it in the pouch, how deep your spoon is, that kind of thing. You're a pâté chinois, which is weird because chinois means Chinese and French, so I'm, I'm not sure how this is a... Anyway. I just report them, kids. I don't explain them. That's what that looks like. Big old liquid mess of that's awfully thin. Sort of gravy. More of a juice than a gravy, I guess. Um, obviously you got your ground beef. 
if you actually care about your particulars. Uh, we can go back to that briefly. Ground beef, potatoes, onions, or sorry, water, onions, corn, salt, cornstarch, Worcester sauce, garlic powder. Yeah, a little bit of dehydrated parsley, apparently, but I don't see it. But usually shepherd's pie is more of a gravy. It's got potatoes on top. Mashed potatoes, not cubo potato, but whatever. Again, not putting ketchup on that. If anything, I'd probably throw some pepper on there, but uh, yeah, your bits of potatoes. A little bit of texture to them. Corn. It's, uh, give that uh, mouth burning spoonful a try, shall we? It's okay. I mean, it's not. It's not gourmet, but most rations aren't. Potatoes have some texture in them, so they're not totally soggy, mushy. The gravy juice is really thin. Most of your texture is coming from corn and the ground meat. Um, let's, uh, let's see how that goes, because I don't really have very high hopes for that. Mostly because most of your gravy is just going to pour out of it anyway, so try not to get that everywhere. Yeah, that's not really adding anything to it. If anything, it detracts a bit. Just because these have just a slight like chemical taste, I think, from the absorbers, but meh. Sports drink is good. Um, let's just <sighs> yeah, she's not bad looking. Might be a little lumpy. A little bit. I did have one that was off. That might have been the LMC. I'm not sure, but it's uh, it's really frothy. Not very vanilla. Yeah, you can see how kind of goopy that is. Texture's not bad, flavor's not great. It's liquid, I'm okay with it. And again, most of this is subjective to where you are, what you're doing, how cold, tired, wet, hungry, etc. And apparently being, having wet fingers, it's just not conducive to using a tear notch. I know what these taste like though, so, well, I know what a traditional matrimonial square, matrimonial cake or date square tastes like. Let's get it out for you there. 
Yeah, a little bit left in there, but uh, again, these are going to be very sweet um, dates. They're kind of the in thing now for um, a lot of uh, non sugar sweetened things. They use dates as the, the sugar substitute because they are quite sweet, they're a natural obviously. Um, that is a lot more, well, then again, I heated it, so, but it's quite uh, fragile. It's got a nice thick, thick date filling in it, but usually the, the oatmeal stuff on the outside isn't quite that uh, discolored. Excuse me. Hmm. Yeah, that's very sweet. Wow. And then I went to the coffee for a bit of relief and realized that sweet and three in one coffee is probably not a good follow up to very sweet date square. Not bad though. Um, this one I will pop the top on just to have a look at it. Um, I know what chunky Kit Kats taste like. Anybody that knows me knows I'm a Kit Kat fanatic um, as far as Japanese Kit Kats and all their weird flavors. But again, this one is obviously seen She's melted. She's bloomed. Got that nice, that nice profile on it. And it, I'm sure, is a nice light snack and tastes great. And less filling. And it's a breath mint and it's candy. The usual arguments. Now we'll elegantly dry that off by licking it. Again, we've all seen these before, but I've never actually demonstrated one on camera, so. For those of you that have missed this, I'll grab my flask here. And elegantly, delicately try to, there's that maple leaf embossed in it. I'm not sure if the resolution is that great. Center. And that is where it starts to saturate. And so pretty much all that liquid I poured into it is in there. And again, if you use a nice hot water like that, pretty near boiling. And you do it in about four degrees centigrade weather, which is about what we got right about now. That's what you get. And this is, this is cloth. This is not, it, it stretches more that way than this way, but uh, pretty good. You can do a fair amount of wiping with that, if you know what I mean. Pretty impressive. And I do believe that is Canadian uh, man, you've made in, it's Canadian, it was initially a Canadian product. I'm not sure if it still is, but uh, 
remember those buying at a sports show, buying those at a sports show um, some years ago. Anyway, uh, deal with that. Be right back. Do it a quick wait, and we're out. Be right back, and we're back. And just because we didn't, um, those are twenty-one. This is twenty-four. Let's catch up. Okay, so we'll throw that down as garbage. That down as garbage. That down as garbage. So we're going to have an extra maybe 10 grams from packaging there. So about 134 grams. Or about four and a half, four point six ounces. So not too bad overall. Anyway, that is our 2020 Canadian IMP Shepherd's Buy, menu number 18. I'm Bourbon Street Joe. I'm out. Bye. Tic Tacs. Almost forgot the Tic Tacs. Gotta include the Tic Tacs. Let's try Tic Tac. Let's go with all four. Yep, they taste the same. Not a fan, but oh well. Anyway, got the candy in there. Bye.